Welcome back to another technical video for the non-technical guys. Today it's all about archivers and compression utilities. Um, I need to move a lot of data over to a new computer because I'm moving my Plex server and you can see that in the next video next week it's coming out. And for that I need a compression utility. Now you can say I can go with the Windows one and just uh, send them to a zip file. When I go here, send, and then compress to a zip folder. This uh, utility, what comes with Windows, has problems with handling so many files. In my experience, it locks up or the file is corrupt and especially when I need to move it, I maybe have a large amount of data. I usually used WinRAR. What was pretty good, but the problem with this is it costs money and I found something better. The next one what's out there is your WinSIP. Also costs you a lot of money and there is something better. So I ended up with 7-Zip. And 7-Zip is free of charge and it has a lot higher compression rate than the other two programs if I need to have a real high compression rate. If I want to archive a lot of my files, I want a compression rate as high as possible. So let's download it and uh, get it ready because I have to archive and move about a hundred thousand files. Yes, the Plex Media Server metadata files, and that's even not a real big one. Uh, I saw some, they have millions of files in it. So I have to compress a hundred thousand files and move them to a other machine and then unzip them. Now I'm gonna download the program, let's install it, and let's see how it works. That was quick. It was a real quick installation. Now let's see how we can use that. So I grab all these files, what I have to move, select 7-zip and add to archive. Now it gives me different options. Uh, the best compression option is when I use the 7-c file format. My compression level, I can go normal, store fastest. So I go with fastest right now because I don't have to compress it really small because like I see, I have only three gigabyte of data to move. If I put that archive for keeping, I would use a higher compression level. So right now I just want to have it fast. I don't want to split my volume because 3 gigabyte I can move easily over the network in one file. Shouldn't be a problem. If I have a problem, I can recompress it and split up that file. Like I said, I just want to have all these files, these 100,000 files, in one archive so I can move it. When I compressed it with the Windows zip utility, it took about hour and a half on this system. Uh, with WinR and R was an hour and 15 minutes. Now we will see how fast 7-zip will be compared to WinR and R, WinZip and 
the built-in SIP utility in Windows. So it's done now, it created our archive here and uh, it was a lot faster. It took about altogether 17 minutes. So now when I look at the slice and I use the lowest compression ratio, it's basically 2.2 gigs. Here I have the one I compressed with WinRAR and I have a little over 2.2 gigs and it took a lot longer to create that file. Now all I have to do is just copy it over to the new system and extract it. And I think I saved a lot of time with this utility to see what it can do, what the program can do. I'm gonna create another archive so let's test it. Let's just compress that metadata file. I hope I have enough room on the drive so I can do that. Uh, archive format, we use 7C again, compression level. We go to ultra, compression method, LCMA2. And this we leave alone. And for the heck of it, we make it a self-extracting file, so it's executable. And put a password in it. And encrypt the file names just to give it something to do. Let's see what happened here. I hope I don't run out of space on that drive. So it took about 20 minutes to create that archive. It's executable, now it's easy to move. I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move it now to one of my network drives. And let's go over to the other machine. And see if we can extract it here. Oh, let's move it over here. In this temp folder. And Let's see if we can extract it. Okay, here we go. Well, it seems all to be working perfect. This is the best program for archiving, zipping your files, and it's free. So that's it for today. If you're interested how to move your Plex Media Server to a new system, just uh, hit that notification bell and you will see it next week. Don't forget like and subscribe to my channel. You have a great week.